Okay. Crazy's good. So, uh, the tune that I wrote in 13 8 time. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, we got and seven I know there's this temptation to like jam and do weird stuff, but it really helps me out if, it, if you keep the accents on um, three, two, two, three, three, like long. your lullaby own. Thank you. One. And the new thing is a Sailing Dreams game. And um, so I'll show you how it works. So the CD comes with the CD game comes too. with a board game. Of course. Of course. Every yeah, CD comes with a board game, right? <laughs> and so you've got uh, 54 cards here. 54 cards. And yeah, yeah, you've got to play the CD actually while you're playing it. If you're not playing it live like we are. I so think you should hand that CD right to Victor. Yes. And that's yours. No, I mean for you to own. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Mine. That's it. Mine. Yeah, yeah. Don't give it away. Okay. <laughs> now, all right. okay, all the songs are written uh, along this place. They're all written uh, while okay. we were sailing from the south shore of Long Island mm -hmm. all the way up along um, the coast of Maine and back. And sometimes we wow. took a, took a, a, a little crossing. Um, over the sea, and then so as you're following along the game, uh, there are some shells that were collected along these beaches that become your sailboats. And so, you want to see? Oh yeah, this were these were collected at Fire Island here. So those are your sailboats, and then as you set sail, the spinner is the point of sail. So that's. Uh, that determines, um, you know, whether 
uh, what direction the wind is going. And yeah, in this case, uh, it's a close reach, which is a which is a three. And so if I went one, two, three, then I I get a fish. Okay, so you then. There are two winners, the one who gets the most fish and lobsters. <laughs> and um, so I'll get a fish. The lobsters are over there, closer to Maine. <laughs> and then uh, also whenever you land on an anchorage, then you then you draw a card, which is a multiple choice question. Okay, so that's your right. first question. But some of them are experiences and uh, trivia about sailing and about the area. So the one who has the most experiences wins, and good experiences and bad experiences both count the same. Okay. All, all right, right, all right, all right. Um, and the one who gains the fish also wins. And we do it while we're listening to? While you're listening to the music. And it should take about the same amount of time to play the game as to play through the album. Wow. So clever. that's it. That's the, uh, clever, the Sailing Dreams clever. game. Selling yeah. dreams. How'd you yeah. come up with that? <laughs> well, it took a couple years to uh, put it all together. And come up with it. And well, I came up with the basic, basic idea. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And you have another one that goes with a cookbook, right? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Wow. So. Amazing, amazing. So. I'm in. My kids are coming home. I oh. know what we'll be playing. Oh. <laughs> First one gets in tonight. I really good, good. Tonight. So, so, I thought I'd do it in Dad Gad, but in the key of A. So okay. it kind of rocks back and forth between nice. A and G. But I'll start with a little just free form. So for all the novices listening to Dad Gad that don't know who Dad oh, is. Oh, Dad Gad is? Uh, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not a person. <laughs> uh, D-A-D-G-A-D. -D. It just spells the tuning. Yeah. Yeah, right. Dad Gad. You don't have to play in Dad Gad tuning. Okay, when you're all, right. That's all right. All right.
Wow. There we go. That's cool. So wow. is that guy who you wrote it for going to learn to play? Well, you know, I have not yet taught it. He's in my guitar class. I have an online guitar class. Uh -huh. That's a great idea. I players at the time and we'd have big band day where we'd bring in a horn section pianist and all drummer and it was about chart reading and so you'd have to read a chart with the with the band but we would make sure your charts written wrong <laughs> just to oh. see yeah just to see what you're going to do oh. how you're going to handle you're going to stop you're going to follow the chart you're going to follow your ear which one is it yeah. <laughs> it was fun it was fun to watch it happen Cool. What did most people do? Most people flip, flip out a little bit because it's in a classroom. Yeah. The, the pressure's not really there. You know, so most people will either stop or, yeah. or start talking or whatever. You know, you say, no, I can't do that. You know. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it, it's fun. It's fun. Well, if people are interested in music and nature camp, you're doing it next summer, right? We are. We and are. Uh, how do they find out about it or get on sure, your email sure. list or what? Um, 
it, uh, you can go to my website, which is victorwooten.com, Victor, V-I-C-T-O-R-W-O-O-T-E-N, victorwooten.com, and you can find the campsite from there, or you can go straight to the site, the campsite, which is Vix Camps, and that's V-I-X, C-A-M-P-S, VixCamps.com. Mm -hmm. Next year is our 25th year. Wow. Oh, 25th year of running camp, so we're planning on a big year um, featuring Muriel Anderson. I hope so, yeah. yeah that's the plan. That's <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll have a lot of stars, a lot of stars, Muriel and, and other stars. Yeah, it should be a lot of Nature stars, too? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. nature stars, and yeah. So, you know, the... My thought with that, why nature? I get that asked, asked that a lot. But if you think about somebody who's naturally good at something, mm -hmm. if you, let's say you have a little child and you hand them a tennis racket and, and you serve the ball and they just naturally hit it back low, line drive over the net, you hit them again, boom. I say, wow, you're a natural. Right? When everybody, anytime somebody's really good at something, you know, right away you call them a natural. What does natural really mean? What we're really saying is you're like nature. You know, mm -hmm. So nature does that all by itself. Yeah, absolutely. A yeah. beaver just knows how to chew up logs and make a dam. It'd be hard for us to do that. Yeah. You know, or make a make a you know a squirrel's nest with your mouth. You know, or something like yeah. that, or a bird's nest. So um, my goal is to is to help people reclaim their naturalness. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in teaching music, in my opinion, in teaching music, we do a lot of things that are unnatural, mm -hmm. like sit in a room and practice all day. You know, beavers don't do that. Squirrels don't do that. You didn't learn to do that. Sit in a room, practice to learn to talk. So is there, not that we want to get rid of sitting in a room and practicing, mm -hmm. but what can we add to it to help that become more natural? And and I believe nature is the key. So yeah. we get outside and do some natural things. Well, I learned a lot of really cool things from your nature teachers. Yeah. You you went in head first. And, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I took every nature class you yeah. had when I went there, and had some great experiences from if I if I don't remember. Yes, I did. Kept in touch with those teachers. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love you. They, yeah, we have harvested a lot of the uh, vegetables in our yard that uh, the natural things from that uh, you know that one seminar on yeah. you know amazing uh, plants that grow right in your yard as long yeah. as you don't use chemicals. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 And knowing what's right around you, listening to the yeah. birds. And, you know, you think about right now, it's winter time and so cold outside, but the, the, the deer, the squirrels, the birds, some kind of way they know what to do. Yeah. You know, they didn't take a class, but some kind of way they know what to do. And, and we're supposed to be at the top of the food chain, but many of us have lost our naturalness. Mm -hmm. So how can we reclaim it? Right. Yeah. I remember your tracking uh, teachers were really interesting, and, and I know that it was really inspirational for you in learning the bass, the, the tracking lessons. Absolutely. And it was right after that I, I saw some some deer tracks, and then I remembered what your uh, tracking uh, classes had. That you, you kind of follow the the pace of right. it. So I'm I'm like trotting. Okay, it's kind of like a happy canter. I'm I'm trotting along, and then all of a sudden the tracks disappear. I said, wait, I back up, going along. There was one track that was at right angles, like <laughs> right into the bushes. Yeah. So why did the deer suddenly stop, jump into the bushes? Often, so I go a little further. There's some fresh wild tra wildcat tracks coming from the other yeah. direction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. So it's fun. It's like Sherlock Holmes or yeah. you know, figuring out puzzles. Right. You know, because uh, you don't know what's going to happen next. You know, like your game, you know, it's fun to not know. Yeah. So the, the tracking for me is like being able to be a kid, a Sherlock Holmes, and I get to follow this puzzle and help figure it out. And a lot of fun. And to me, when I have these different experiences, it makes me play music differently. Mm. You know, because music is not about the, the one chord going to the four chord. We don't sing about that. We sing about sailing. We sing about a baby Leo. You know, Leo's mm -hmm. baby, you know, music is about experiences. So to me, we should have more experiences to help influence what we play about. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to going to your camp. For one thing, you and Roy have such a command of rhythm. Like, I have never seen anyone. And I would like to uh, explore that a little bit more. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up with, with four of my favorite musicians. I think four of the world 
best as my big brothers. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about my brothers, they can not only, not only can they do it, they can get you to do it really quickly. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what I've set out my sights as far as a teacher, where the teaching is not about me, it's about getting you there as quickly as possible. And especially Reggie, Reggie want Reggie gets you to do it right away. Then we learn what we're gonna we learn what we're doing after the fact, after we're doing it. And I realized, wow, we learned to talk first before I knew that was a noun or a verb or how to learn to read it. Yeah. You know, I was like, wow, maybe that makes sense. And my brothers are all that way. They get you to do it so fast that you're having fun. And then we can have the lesson on what we're doing. But they get you there so fast. So I've set out my sights. To, uh, to do the same. And speaking of rhythm, man, Roy's got so much rhythm exercises and mm -hmm. knowledge. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm really glad that you wrote the music lesson book. Mm -hmm. uh, and now two. two now two, books. yeah, a sequel. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank so you. So they've uh, been inspirational for a lot of people, I know. Yeah. Surprisingly, I, I, I was going to say I didn't do it for that, but I'm, I kind of did, but I didn't expect it to, to take hold on people the way it has. Mm -hmm. I figured a few of the campers, the students at the camps would read it. And it was in response to people saying, you should put this in a book. Yeah. But I did not want a manual, meaning an, an, a Wooten method, an instruction book. You know, I didn't want that, something I would have to defend yeah. or approve. So I wrote a story. Yeah. Um, and the story, really, I got the idea from a book Roy turned me on to, a Richard Bach book, Illusions, oh, yeah. about a teacher and a student. And when that hit me, whoa, I can, don't write an instruction book, just write a story. Yeah. Let's just start from the standpoint that none of this is real. And that totally released me from having to own up to any of it. But the <laughs> lessons are there if you want them. Yeah. The story is there if you just want a story. Yeah. But people were asking, because I was sharing my brother's stuff, my own thoughts in, in the classes, and, uh, and people were saying, wow, I never heard music taught this way. Mm. And so I told stories in, in the book and put the, hid the lessons in. They're not even hidden, but they're in there through storytelling. And it's amazing how many people have gotten something out of it. And yeah. I'm happy. Thank Great. you. Thank you. Thanks for reading. Yeah. You can listen to them, too. Oh, Both books okay. are on audio. Oh. Yeah, where all of the characters, I shouldn't say all, most of the characters are inspired by real people. And so where there were real people who inspired the characters, I had them read their parts. Mm -hmm. So the main character, Michael, Uncle Clyde, Sam, all those people, are you'll hear their voices. So all the voices are different people. And it's scored with tons of music, including you. That's right. You were right. over here one time. You said, I need a little part. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. think we actually did it this way. There's a place where my character goes home and hears this beautiful guitar playing coming through the front door in the, through the house. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, in the book, it's Michael playing, but in the audio book, it's you playing Michael's part. Mm -hmm. And it's so gorgeous and so beautiful. So yeah, thanks again for doing that. You're welcome. Um, yeah. We read that book to each other. Oh, yeah. neat. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Enjoyed it. Nice. Loved it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, if you listen to it, you'll hear, you'll hear mm -hmm. Mirror in there. Yeah. And we did the, the new book, The Spirit of Music, which is the sequel. It starts where the music lesson ends. There's, it's done the same way. Lots of music. Jake Shimabukuru, speaking of ukulele, is playing in there. Uh, Eric Silver, you probably know Eric oh, Silver. Yeah. He plays a guitar part for me. Great vocalist. One of my favorite vocalists, India Ari, uh, is all over the book. She's the voice of music. But also, whenever my character, Isis, whenever she sings... It's in your Ari's voice. Oh, okay. So, well, I'll have to get the audio fun. version. I, I read, I read the, the book, but I'll have to get the audio one. Yeah, Spirit of Music is a little bit different. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The first, I will say this, the first book, I just wanted to make people happy and say, wow, I can play music. Anybody can do it. But the second book, I wanted to poke you in your side. I know, make a I don't want to go, yeah. no, I don't know if I, would, but I can't quit, stop reading, but I'm not <laughs> sure, you know. <laughs> That's yeah. right. It was a different experience. <laughs> different experience, exactly. Yeah. I didn't want you to have the same experience as the first one. So good. Yeah. All right. Should we finish off with one more? Let's do it. Oh, I was going to ask Roy, there's something yeah. you wanted to okay, talk sure. about or oh, yeah. promote? Or? Yeah. Uh, uh, I've got a solo drum, concert coming up. Drum concert, right? Yeah. Symphony or something. Yeah. i got a, uh, a solo concert coming up, and it's going to be a drum concerto. I'm featuring the uh, drums and a new instrument. 
and I'm going to be playing melodies and stuff for the first time. What's and the new instrument? The new instrument is a new drum guitar, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's set up that where I can you know use my rudimental technique and find melodies and stuff. So you're going to hear some of the melodies that I'm finding in the context of a concerto format. So the concerto is usually where you have the symphony or the string, string parts, and then you play it, they play it, and concerto is meant to show off, but a lot of the rhythms that I have are written in the string parts. So you're gonna hear me interacting with all of these rhythms that I've written in the strings and, and um, challenging myself to be able to think as a melodic instrument in a way. So yeah, that's what's happening, you know. Very cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, do you have thoughts for one or do you want No, I like I like playing your stuff. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'll start it off here. that uh, all those parts were separate and I had since uh, incorporated a, a, you know, the, the different parts on the harp guitar so I could play it as a, as a solo when you're not around ah. <laughs> so, uh, so wow well, we should do more playing together that was just, oh, it just brings me back to all those times of just jamming you know uh, Back before we got, we all got so busy. You know? so <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. 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 My fingers used to land where I wanted them to. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, yeah. though. It has a has the feeling I get at night lights. It's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I had a sailing feel too. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're getting sailing, into sailing at night. <laughs> it just feels like sailing at night. And you're just trying to butter me up. <laughs> yes, we got the Brian and Brian there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Behind the scenes, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. Thank you, Roy, for joining us. You gonna play something, Brian? Nice. Good. 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 Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 yeah, we got two Brian's behind the scene. The other Brian came here, flew here from the, we met at one of Vic's camps. Mm -hmm. And he came back to study a whole month. Oh, 
Oh, it's it's camp. I'm yeah, like studying that. a lot of rhythm and stuff on the guitar and and theory with Reggie. So that's a lot of focus, man. That's and where are you from, Brian? Seattle? Yeah, I grew up in uh, Ladysmith, Virginia, but I've been living in Washington State for about nine years now. I'm actually in Tacoma, but yeah, Tacoma. up and down the yeah, up and down that state. I've been all over at this point. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. you're in Tennessee for a whole month. Yeah, thirty-eight days. Actually, wow. yeah, just shy of forty days. So you're teaching months. Reggie and Roy some lessons. You know, they, they're they're hard-headed, but I'm, I think I'm getting through to them a little bit. Next <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's very cool, man. Yeah, it's been quite the experience, and and this has also been fantastic, just to be around so much music and just people doing it the right kind of way. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Brian made some shepherd's pie, so if you'd like some, I can... Uh, yeah, I'm a shepherd. Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. I figured that's the reason Roy showed up. He heard about the shepherd's pie. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me come over there. Yeah, shepherd's pie. <laughs>